What up YouTube, Jason here. First, I wanna start off by saying, I don't recommend you mimicking my portfolio. I'm not a, I'm not a financial advisor. The, the stocks in my portfolio were all purchased at different times, different PE ratios. Some bought a lot cheaper than others. Also, stick around to find out what company slashed its dividend for the first time in 75 years. Let's get started. What happened last week? That was crazy. Let me pull it up here for you. I was actually up 7,000, I was at $7,023, which put me up all time. I was up $47 all time. Look at this, everything was in green. Johnson Johnson red, Pepsi red, Ford red, but look at that, everything else is like, was in the green. Uh, Okay, yeah, Walmart, Consolidated Edison was in red, but look at that, I was actually up last week. Balance that a little bit this week, craziness. Let's get into my dividends. This is my favorite part of investing, passive income. Today we're gonna go over my income earned during the month of April. Granted, it's not a ton, but I earned it without lifting a finger. I earned it while I slept. Let's get it opened up and I'll show you what's going on in there. The first thing we're gonna do is open up Robinhood. We're gonna check out my dividends from inside the app here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open up statements in history, and we're going to show more by dividends. And let's go ahead and scroll all the way down to SPHD, which is first my first dividend received. And that was only 16 cents because I only own, own one share, which is fine, we're gonna grow that. Next up, VTI, biggest dividend I get. $4.78, great stock to have. Let's go ahead and move up to Pepsi. One penny because of the fractional share, but I did increase that. All right, so after Pepsi, we have, alrighty, Pepsi was only that fractional share. Let's move up to Coke, so Pepsi and Coke, direct competitors. I got 82 cents from them, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And we'll move up to G Genuine Parts. Uh, they, you know, the Napa. You know, we've got to fix our cars even during these recessions, during these tough times. In fact, people probably fix their cars more than want to buy new ones. All right, so let's go up to Noble. And they paid me 34 cents. Another one of my ETFs. All right. And a Chubb, uh, the global insurance company, paid me 75 cents. Not too bad. And then Leggett. One of my favorites. I don't know why they're my favorite, but they paid me 80 cents. I'll have more from them, uh, more coming from them soon. Uh, Stag, that's uh, one of the few REITs I own that I'm thinking about getting rid of, but they only gave me 12 cents. So, you know, 12 cents is 12 cents. WP Carry, one of my favorite, favorite, uh, one of my favorite REITs paid me a dollar four. And then let's move on to my next favorite REIT. Oh, Realty. Uh, they paid me 23 cents there, a monthly paying dividend. I love that. And then uh, PSEC uh, gave me 36 cents for owning six shares. And they're a monthly dividend as well. My One of my riskier holdings, JP Morgan Chase gave me a penny because of the fractional share. I now own a full share of that as referenced in my last video. And what is this? Uh, SPHD got 16 cents. Uh, another uh, ETF. Um, so yeah, I got paid. I'll, I'll total it up here for you. Um, but those are my, my dividends I earned in April. All right, guys. Now what you've all been waiting for. The company that cut its dividend for the first time in 75 years. It was a huge shock to me. It was a company that I did research on. I looked into their financials. And even to this day, they still seem to have sound financials. I mean, they, they, their books still look pretty strong. Uh, hopefully they get back on their tear of increasing that, that dividend. Um, but let's go ahead and pull up the article and look at it online. Surprise, surprise, guys. RDS, Royal Dutch Shell. Let's go ahead and pull up Forbes here. And just for the record, no, I'm not selling. I think their financials are still sound. Um, and they're gonna continue paying that dividend for a while. They've cut it down quite substantially, but 
Uh, let's let's go ahead and read this article. So from Forbes.com, how investors how investors should interpret Shell's first dividend cut in 75 years. Uh, let's see here. Last week they cut it. It's the first time in 75 years, which the article says is remarkable considering the ups and downs of the oil industry. The last time they cut the dividend was back in World War II, which is when energy supply demand tanked. And it's actually tanked about the same uh, nowadays. And that makes sense due to, due to the virus. Um, no one's driving. Uh, we're all quarantined. So that kind of that kind of makes sense. Um, as sad as it is, can you imagine the agony? A company that has paid their dividend for 75 years, uh, the agony they had to have, have gone through to decide to make this dividend cut. Um, and it looks like the, the demand collapse is impacting both the refiners and oil producers, which Shell is, they're, uh, they're an integrated super major. Um, so they benefit from, from falling oil prices because they, they're, it says here, they generally see margins expand. Um, that's why they're usually more stable during the ups and downs of oil prices. And which is why I also own Chevron and Exxon, some of the larger companies. Um, <clears throat> and it also says here, um, here we go, Chevron has publicly stated that the company has enough cash on hand for now to maintain its dividend, so that's, that's good news for all us Chevron holders. Um, let's see, so yeah, um, it says here, I think investors should heed the underlying warning in Shell's first dividend cut in most of our lifetime. Uh, consider the pressure they must have been under not to break that 75 year streak. That is evidence that they see the current crisis unlike others in the oil industry. Um, others, the oil industry has faced uh, in recent decades, sorry, it's kind of hard to see. They aren't sure when oil demand will recover. So we should be exceedingly cautious in the energy se sector for the foreseeable future. Um, which I am. I'm, I'm kind of laying low on my oil prices, on my oil stock purchases, uh, great dividends right now. But again, um, until everything stabilizes due to this virus, I'm going to kind of be careful with that. But uh, yeah, so Forbes.com did a, a, I mean, there's multiple other uh, articles on Shell's dividend cut. I just chose Forbes. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, my dividend update. You know, out of 52 companies so far, I've had two cut their dividend. Ford, which I don't even count really because I didn't do research. I just blindly picked a cheap dividend pair. But Shell was a shock to me. Uh, I, I lost, I think, 10 bucks a year. I know this will be okay. I'm excited about my dividend today. Um, so take care, guys. I appreciate you watching and sticking it out to the end. And much love to you. May all your investments be fruitful. Take care.